Good Saturday afternoon, everybody. This is Grace, and I wanted to come on and do a little quick video. I've been thinking about boundaries and going no contact, and the importance of not stepping over your own boundaries and staying no contact. You know, with people, or having to go no contact with people who are not people who are you know always or who in are your people life. who weren't in your life all that long. Uh, that's mainly what it is. Um, what I'm thinking about. And that is when you, um, when you realize that somebody, somebody new, um, not like dating, but it could be dating, but in my case not, but you realize they're not good, not good for you. You know, your gut instinct really didn't tell you that, um, or did, and you just ignored it. Or you were too busy with something else, too occupied with something else to realize you know, what you thought about them, or you were in a position where you weren't even thinking about it, like me. You know, I went to this one business, and I just liked the business. That's why I went there to buy stuff, you know, and wasn't paying attention to what was going on. And I think I mentioned this before, that basically the two owners were trying to triangulate me into their power plays against one another. And it went over months, years, I mean, more than a year, okay. maybe, I don't know. And basically, once I, it was made obvious to me that they were trying to triangulate me um, because one didn't want to order something and the other one did want to order something, I, I was just there to buy something. If it was there, it was there. If it wasn't, it wasn't. You know, over time, this happened more than once, finally it was like, oh, they're doing this. And so I haven't been back, period. And now, my life goes in things, of course, you know, and I had two other instances and basically, my gut on one said that this person is, um, actually it says somebody who has seen um, narcissistic, um, toxic people in action and has suffered from it and um, just has picked up some bad, bad habits from them, like I have too. And I'm working on those, believe me. And, um, and the other one was just, you know, um, my, I don't remember what my gut told me, you know, I'm, that survival instinct that you, when you first meet somebody, what, it's, what it tells you if this is a good or bad person. Um, it wasn't really somebody I was all that you know, familiar with or wanted to be, I guess I'd say, you know. But anyway, it goes in themes. And, and in this process, I've realized, you know, you have to, uh, once you realize that something isn't uh, right, you know, you walk away. You go into contact in that way. You, you know, I don't, I'm not going to return to that business. And, um, and the person that it was something that they just, that person just has some, um, you know, problems like I have. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to walk away. There's no need to go to no contact. The other one. Yeah. No contact. But overstepping my boundaries would be not to listening, not to listen to myself now that I've realized that because I used and to. And what I realized from my past was that it wasn't that I was addicted to the drama. It was that I was addicted to the mystery because I would give somebody else another chance or you know, keep going back or whatever just to see how it was going to pan out, how it was going and what was going to happen because I was, I've always been a curious person that was wrong, you know, and I, and I would have that feeling in the past, you know, I really shouldn't do it. It's not worth it. it you know, if my gut is telling me, no, step away, walk away, don't go back. So, as I've aged, I've learned. But anyway, I'm in this room because downstairs too noisy, and this is just an old, old, as you can tell. I don't know what you call those, a little accordion kind of thing, I don't know. But uh, I had, when I first saw YouTube two years ago on another channel, I used that as my backdrop and the other side too. Anyway, that was enough for today. I'm going to try to do one every day for uh, Vlogtober, and we'll see. Talk to you later. Bye.